Welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. So the question that John asked was, why am I going through this heartbreak? When people break up with you and use senseless or petty reasons to break up, they're just bringing to light their lack of self-love and resiliency because they don't believe they can handle life's journey and the unexpected. They're trying to control outcomes and feel like they can't control you or what's happening in their life. So they fight turning inward frustration out on you. They're not committed to doing their continued inner work, so they take out their lack of courage and out of sheer survival, have to retreat to be alone in perpetuity. They think they can, they're now gonna be safe, but as my Irish mom's friend always says, everywhere you go, there you are. Why? Because you can't run away from you. You're experiencing first firsthand a classic fight or flight response, and it's a basic survival response. When an individual is self-loving and truly wants to share that with another, they know there isn't anything in life they can't face. They have confidence in their own resiliency and ability to keep connected to the divine, universal intelligence, many call God, and tune into this energy and embrace the unexpected in all of its forms. They know they will be fine and will figure out whatever challenges are presented before them. Now the truth is, all of life is unexpected. There are no guarantees, but the truth is, we create our own reality. So that breakup is the best unexpected moment for you to embrace freedom and pure love, untainted and violated by a perverse fear, which is coming from someone who is projecting their fear and insecurities onto you. So the truth is, they weren't they weren't as committed to you and the relationship as you were. I don't care what they said. Their actions speak so loudly that it drowns out any memory of anything said to you to the contrary. So what you had was in fact a lie. That's why you feel betrayed. The realization that you were dealing with a counterfeit love wrapped in a blanket of conditional situations that would only keep together until fear took over the throne of that person's heart hurts. That's what you were in a relationship with. Yuck! That This worst thing that ever happened to you can be the best thing if you go in and do the inner work of getting to know the real you no longer fighting with yourself so your consciousness expands and your energy can now be directed to creating and gifting the world with your true talents. This is the veil of illusion we have to get past. Everything changes when you change. And I would say everything changes when you change the way you think. You can then bless and love that person for bringing that darkness so your light can shine. Without the darkness, the light can't be defined or recognized, just as the day needs the night to be defined. Stop blaming them, they didn't know any better. And neither did you, or you wouldn't have been in that relationship. Blaming is such a victim song and so unattractive. Once you see the truth for what it is, you'll let it go as something you used to do, like an old addiction. You'll also recognize the reason why you came together as a couple. It's a gift to grow you, to which I say, I hate to see you go, but I love to see you grow. So I hope this, this video is helping you. You obviously have suffered from a breakup. You're obviously in pain. There's no need for you to needlessly suffer longer than what is absolutely necessary. Yes, everyone is going to suffer different degrees of pain and suffering, 
when you first have a breakup, but it doesn't have to be prolonged. I encourage you to check out my video on how to get over a breakup in five simple steps. That's what I did. That first night when my boyfriend and I broke up, that first evening, I decided I am not going to go through a prolonged pain and suffering. I'm not going to go through any kind of depression. I'm not going to suppress the emotions that I'm feeling that truly hurt in this moment. I know that this is happening for a reason, and clearly it was. I just told you my revelations. And so I chose that evening to deal with what I needed to deal with and walk through whatever it was I needed to walk through to get to the other side, to learn the lessons, to learn things about myself so that I could be the best version of me possible. And so I did step number one. I instinctively knew that I needed to do that. And so that evening I took it upon myself which I talk about in step number one, which has to do with your soul type connection with that person. That's it. This is done. It's over with. And so I, I basically took care of that that evening. And I didn't have any attachment or any expectation to a time frame or what was going to happen or how it was going to unfold. I knew that it would provide me relief. And it would be fairly soon, but I didn't know if that was going to be minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months, but I knew that it would ensue in relief and I would have no more pain. Much to my surprise, even though I didn't sleep that night, which I talk about in the video, I woke up and I felt fantastic the next day and I was really surprised at how free I felt. And that would be my wish for you, that you would not suffer pain, that you would not continue to suffer heartache, that you would get relief. So John, thank you for putting that question on Quora. It is um, a, a very big question that a lot of people, men and women both are asking and seeking answers to. And so I thank you today for placing that question and for reading the answer as well as listening and watching to this video. So thank you from the beautiful, beautiful city, romantic city of Rome, Italy. Ciao for now.